I'm gonna run to my house and grab one. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna go get a tow strap. We'll yank him up there. You should be good. Just stay in it. All righty. <laughs> well, that's always fun. Now, as long as the rest of them don't pack up into each other. to the channel if you guys are new to the channel i am senate steve this is my 2008 ford f450 super duty on six inch fabtech lift 22.5 uh 295 75 semi wheels now if you are new to the channel go back and check out some of the videos that we just bought this thing back um i actually built this thing and uh you know we're here to have some fun with it so if you don't know me i also have a twin turbo corvette and uh well if you can't tell by that beginning i am always full send anywhere and everywhere i go so with that being said i guess it's time to uh put it in four wheel drive and we will get this video started there we go we are off good morning guys and welcome to the channel if you are new to the channel that is diesel over there he is a snow dog and in absolute heaven right now so basically what we're doing here is i'm going to give you a play-by-play -play of the snow i'm in about the harrisburg area of pennsylvania and it is about i'd say about 8 45 in the morning and the snow has begun i hope you guys are excited we're approaching noon and uh yeah everything's covered About two o'clock. I think we're about four inches in by now. What's up, buddy? What's up, Diesel? Mm. He loves it. He loves it, guys. You having fun? All right, time to get the truck fired up. Unbelievable. It's actually very believable guys this is actually the season that i actually enjoy oh look at my pond all righty you think she'll fire up on the first time is this like them diesel things you know people wondering if their trucks will start because they didn't plug them in we definitely didn't plug old girl in here oh better turn my copyright infringement off like a kitten fires right up we are going to get rid of this engine like guys that is going to be a separate video but for now diesel loves the snow It is deep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
You love it. Diesel loves it. I actually love it too, guys. I'm not going to lie. I actually do really enjoy snow. Let's get the truck cleaned off. It's a snow day here in Pennsylvania. All righty. Well, I think we're going to need a little 4x4. Four four. Good to go. Just by guessing, I'd say we probably have about four or five, maybe six inches of snow just from the tire track. So let's get out here and we got to go pick a buddy up who's stuck. This is crazy. I didn't even make it to the end of the, tr the street and there's a truck stuck right there. I don't have a tow rope with me and I can't get out. Think I should go get a tow rope? Mm -hmm. That all motion Passat is going around the truck. This is good content, guys. Oh no, it isn't at all for motion. He is now stuck, which is stupid because he's on the wrong side of the road. Now he's gonna hit the curb. Oh boy. <laughs> he's the one. This is good stuff, guys. I literally have a buddy stuck and I can't even go get him because there's people stuck everywhere. We're gonna run to the house and grab a tow, tow rope because I don't think I got one. I don't have a tow rope or I'd go help him. I'm gonna run to my house and grab one. Really? Wow. I'm gonna go get a tow strap. We'll yank him up there. You should be good, just stay in it. All righty. <laughs> well, that's always fun. Now, as long as the rest of them don't pack up into each other. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> I have no idea how you end up there, but man, like there is literally cars everywhere. And I mean, it is bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it because I'm a big tough guy with a big bad truck. I'm saying it like the roads are slick, but you got to know how to drive. Now, we, as you see, I did save two people already. We were able to push somebody up out of the street. My entire development is pretty much shut down. You can't go left. You can't go right. But I got to go get some people and help them. And that's what we're going to do by golly. Then you see stuff like this, the good old Cummins out here trying to pull a rig. If you guys can't do it, I'll be back. I'll come get you. Should I be the next one to come up here and hook with him? Rows and rows of traffic here everywhere, guys. This is insane. The snow is really not even that bad. This is just nuts. I mean, as you can tell, it's backed up the whole way down that road, the whole way left, whole way right. Unbelievable literally i'm not even exaggerating people are stuck everywhere and i'm just that big old guy coming in coming in hot driving around people we're here for parts all right guys now at this point in the video you guys don't understand how big this hill is that i we are about to climb like i'm telling you this thing is tall like it's probably 200 yards and maybe i'd say I don't know. We did just get stuck there a little bit, but I didn't want to put in four wheel drive. We're still running around in two wheel drive. But uh, this hill is absolutely big. So here's the clip from that. I can't believe it made it up and didn't even slip, didn't even hesitate. This is literally a straight up hill. And we're going for it. Like, I ain't scared. I ain't scared. She's got it. 
I don't even need power. We can just crawl up this. She loves it. Loves it. She lives with her. Oh, I love this truck. And we're at the top. I don't even know where we are right now, but I just seen a big hill and I had to go. Figured no one else was gonna come this way. One thing I gotta tell people, like if, like see this first car that's stuck? Why is this second car up her butt? And then the third look, oh, there's Miles. Miles is struggling. Oh, he got it, he got it, he got it saved. He saved it. Miles he was smiling. <laughs> he was to the rug. Miles saved it. But one thing I gotta say guys is if you see a car that starts to struggle, do not stop up behind it. Don't follow it. Let one car go to the very top of the hill and then you go. And then just keep going like that. Don't keep sending it one after another after another. That's how you start a pile up and that's how you get stuck. There's some sending Steve wisdom for you all. Tip of the day. Yeah, tip of the day. And I could have been home by now. You'd have done this the first time. You're the best. Just oh, stay Lord. straight. Why did it go black? I think your battery's dead. It, it went black. Oh no, you're good. you want finger, but if you touch it with finger, it'll back Oh. Oh, there it goes. Here goes nothing. Times are rough in Oberlin. Right? Seriously. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, nice talking to you. Yeah, you too. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but there is literally a car sitting on the wrong side of the road. And it must have been there for a while because there's snow on the roof of it. Wow. This is incredible, guys. This is definitely a storm for the record books. Yeah, it's that bad out here. It, the highway is an absolute parking lot. Not sure how well you can see down that way, but oh man, and that's the direction I gotta go. We're gonna find a back road. <laughs> now, at first, at this point in the video, well, at this point, but uh, basically the roads were terrible today. I did a little bit of driving around after that. I figured I'd create a little bit of a video for you guys so that you could actually see and understand just how bad the roads are in central Pennsylvania or if you guys were in the area, you know there was a backlog and I tell you a backlog. It took me to an hour and a half to get literally one exit across the 83 bridge. That was insane. Um, and here's actually a car. Not sure if you can see it there. This car has literally been stuck here. Now, I I passed it at probably four o'clock this afternoon. I think the sun was still up <laughs> as you see in the video and uh, it, the roads are clear now. So whoever that is, they can come back and get their car. If you're, if you're watching this, your uh, car is clear now, you can come. So now this is the road where all the major cars got stuck. So here's that footage now. Guys, I know this is like me just taking like little bits and pieces of like all over but this is absolutely terrible. I mean, everything is gridlocked. I've lived in this area literally 33 years and I've never ever seen it this way. I mean, it is absolutely insane. So I, I've literally been in this traffic for an hour and a half. I came out here just to do a couple things, run some errands and uh, probably the worst decision I've ever made. But we got Tony to work. We got some other things taken care of. We saved a couple people. And now we are, uh, I mean, it is literally miles and miles of just traffic everywhere. This is honestly absurd. I mean, it looks like it's 83 northbound. It's just an absolute parking lot. And then you have like one truck that's out here just tying everything up. 
it's just insane it literally just took me an hour and a half to do something that usually takes me seven minutes that's that's insanity to say it's a little least but it is a pretty bad storm i'm not gonna lie you know if i didn't have this truck i mean i think miles would handle it pretty well but this truck is an absolute beast as we all know so it's out here chicken ass and taking names look at the just miles of traffic and now i had to sit on that side of the road to go where i was going so now you guys can see why it took so long everything on this side is absolutely clear which is insane um looks like over there you have a uh, a dhl truck that's just stuck in the middle of the ramp that ramp is completely blocked because of him and you come up here and there's still absolutely nothing in our lanes over here just an entire backlog 83 north what a what a shame what a what a bad bad day for some people i mean i'm mad i was in this stuff for an hour and a half and i was mad but could you imagine people that had to go more than the little seven miles i had to go that's absurd well i'm gonna keep plugging and chugging just miles and miles of backlog that is insane guys i know i've said that a couple times and i do repeat myself quite frequently on this channel but that's nuts so glad i'm going northbound and not southbound i think earlier i did mention that it was northbound but it's actually southbound okay so that car was literally just up in the mound right there what the hell people now now i know i do repeat myself in a lot of the video because it was literally insane guys there was cars everywhere i definitely did not anticipate it to be like this this has definitely been the worst storm that i can remember from you know and i've been in central pa pretty much my entire life well my entire life this was the worst storm in november of my life that i can ever think of ever remember so with that being said guys i mean i'm i hope everyone is safe if anybody has you know any incidents or anything like that you know my prayers are with you you know i i just hope everybody is safe and uh i'm glad that i could drive around and help out a few people i did actually end up towing out four cars um i did push up a car up a hill at one point and uh it actually would appear as if i'm about to pull out another one on my own personal street because i don't think i'm getting behind that or around that i guess i should say um yeah well stand by let's see what's going on here sorry guys uh just trying to edit out some of the stuff here but uh, we just about got him up over the hill I'm still just in shock guys like how can people drive past somebody literally out there struggling like I just literally literally witnessed a guy drive right past in between this guy and there's another truck car down here and just keep going like just kept on going about his day like didn't check to see if he was okay nothing just that's incredible but luckily we're here i sort of wish i had miles to uh to rip this guy up over the hill but we'll use the 450 no biggie go up here and get on the hook that is seriously seriously the most frustrating thing ever you know this guy has literally been sitting here for five hours he said shoveling himself out none of my neighbors came to his rescue like that's insanity all right guys now 
this is gonna be a little bit of a surprise for you guys because I did not actually break the news to you guys, but uh, do you guys recognize that vehicle there? That's Miles. Now here's the footage from Miles. We did end up selling him and uh, you know, it is what it is. We're ready to move on and do bigger and better things, guys. That's for sure. So anyway, guys, if you like the content, smash that like button, please subscribe. And I can promise you, we have a lot of good karma coming our way. Once someone that I used to talk to said, you know, do positive things and positive things will come your way. I spent all day today doing positivity. So take care guys. We'll see you in the next upload.